Good whatever time of day it is to you and welcome back to the channel. Today, when I got back home from my actual work, I found that the October 2021 Lego catalogue had arrived, as you can see here. So, I am going to go through it now and see what is on offer. So, on the first page we have a wish list for writing down what uh, sets you would like. This is obviously more of a feature for children to write down what sets they would like for Christmas, obviously. On the insert we have the contents page which is here the, on this side the contents of this catalogue with holiday sets, Lego City, Lego Friends, Lego Harry Potter, Lego Marvel, Lego Vigio, probably pronounced that horribly, Lego Adults Welcome, which is a separate catalogue within it apparently, Lego Dots, Lego Super Mario, Lego Star Wars, Lego Ninjago, Lego Disney, and Halloween sets. For each of these sections, there is a timestamp in the description, which has hopefully made chapters in the video so click through to the page you want. What's notable about this catalogue is that it only has 23 pages whereas the last catalogue I did back in January had 56 pages so it's half as small as the last one. So now let's get into the catalogue itself with the holiday sets with the Santa Village, which is this year's Christmas Village set, with 1,445 pieces at £79.99. This set has four minifigures, including a Santa figure, which can be dropped down the chimney. And this set is 19 centimetres high. Overall, a very nicely designed set and probably fits well with the other Christmas stroke holiday vivid sets. You can also get a Santa's sleigh, which has only four reindeer out of the six or seven, depending on what you're going with. Six from the original poem, seven counting Rudolph. This set is 343 pieces and is £34.99. The Christmas tree of this set also has a light brick in it to make it light up, obviously. And surprisingly, the back tree is included for that. Which is a surprise, I feel, because normally when sets require some sort of lighting... They usually don't include the electrics and battery stuff for that. So now we're on to the Lego City sets. This appears to be a new sub-theme that Lego have done within Lego City of, of stunt drivers, motorcycle and monster cars monster trucks so starting here we have the stunt competition at 17 pound 99 pence with 73 pieces we have the rocket stunt bike which is only 14 pieces and six pound 99 we have the stunt show truck which is 54 pound and 99 pence and 420 pieces. I'm sure some people are laughing at that number. We have the Stunt Show Arena at 89 pound and 99 pence with 668 pieces. And finally, we have the Stunt Park with 170 pieces and 24.99 with 170 pieces at 24 pounds and 99 pence the age of all these sets is i 
is all either 5 plus with these two or 6 plus with these three which is quite logical seeing that they're all rather small sets next we have the lego friends sets with five sets total starting with magical aerobatics with 233 with 223 pieces at 17 pound and 99 pence we have the magical fun fair stalls at 24 pound at 24 pound and 99 pence with 361 pieces we have the magical ferris wheel and slot we have the magical ferris wheel and slide at 54 pounds and 99 pence with 545 pieces then we have the biggest set of this theme with the magical fun fair roller coaster with 947 pieces at 79 pound and 99 pence and finally the magical caravan with 348 pieces and at 44 pound and 99 pence These two sets are 6 plus sets, this one 7 plus, as is this one, and this one is 8 plus. Next we have the Lego Harry Potter sets, which feature three of the sets from the 20th anniversary, which was this year. We have the Hogwarts Flying we have the Hogwarts First Flying Lesson at 264 pieces, £27.99 and 99 pence, which came with Professor the Golden which came with the Golden Professor Quirrell and two Wizards cards. We have the Hogsmeade Village set at 851 pieces and selling for £69.99. and 99 pence. Hey look, the other funny number, which had the wrong gold minifigure and four wizard card tiles. And we also have the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets at 1,176 pieces and £129.99. And this one came with the Voldemort's golden minifigure and six random tiles. At the bottom here we also have the brick heads of Harry, Hermione, Ron and Hagrid at 466 pieces going for £21.99. And, Next we have Lego Marvel, specifically the Eternal sets which have only just released recently despite them appearing like this in the January catalogue. So we have the Deviant Ambush at 197 pieces selling for £17.99. The In Irish Helms Shadow at 493 pieces going for £59.99. We have the Rise of the Domo with 1,040 pieces going for £89.99 and finally the Eternals Aerial Assault with 133 pieces at £8.99 Next we have the page for Lego Vimeo which is showing two sets the boom box at 996 pieces going for 89.99 and the band mates which are 12 pieces and £3.99 which I assume is basically a CMF or CMF CMS set thing 
Next up, we have the Adult Welcome pages. And again, we have the Santa's Visit, as I went over in the beginning. We have the Hogwarts Icons Collector's Edition at 3,010 pieces, going for £229.99. And we also have Diagon Alley, which has been out for a while now, got with 5,544 pieces and going for 369.99 pence. 369 pound and 99 pence. Next we have the Friends Apartment. So obviously from the Friends TV show. This has 2,048 pieces and is going for £134.99. That is the big one. And we also have we also have the Steinfield apartment set at, at 1,326 pieces going for £69.99. Next we have Stadium of Stars, Camp No You, FC Barcelona, FC Barcelona. This has 5,509 pieces and is 220, 299 pounds and 99 pence. Not much I can say about that because it's a football thing and I don't like sport. Next up, we have what was the largest set before. What was the largest set piece wise with the Colosseum at 9,036 pieces and going for £449.99. This was the largest set until technically the Lego World Art set, which I have a review of here. And more recently, the Lego Titanic set that got announced a couple of days ago, which overtakes it by about 30 pieces, I believe, but is still smaller than the Lego World Art. But, hey-ho. Next, we have the Fog F-150 Raptor at 1,379 pieces, going for £129.99. And we have a pickup truck with 1,677 pieces, going for the slightly cheaper £119.99. Next, we have a Lego guitar, which is specifically the Fender, the Fender Stratocaster. At 1,074 pieces and going for £89.99. And on this side we have the Super Mario 64 question mark block. At 2,064 pieces and £159.99. To mark 25 years since the launch of the iconic Super Mario 64 video game. And finally in this insert we have the classic TV series Batman Cowl, or basically the headpiece of Batman, going for 300 going for £54.99 and pence for 372 pieces. Next we have three dots sets. Two of these two basically being just a collection of dots and many different things you can make with them. With the Creative Designer box with 779 pieces going for £34.99. And the Lots of Dots set at £17.99 with 1,040 pieces. Which this lots of dot sets just appears to be so they can so children can make whatever they want with the dots with no instructions, I believe. 
and we finally have a pencil holder, which is a very cute idea, I think. Cute, mm, cute might not be the correct word, but oh well. Uh, 321 pieces, going for £17.99. Next, we have the Lego Super Mario sets, which to work you need a Mario or Luigi, which you can only get in the two starter sets with Adventures with Mario starter course with 231 pieces for 49 $49.99 and the Adventures with Luigi starter course 280 pieces $49.99 we, we next have Bowser's Airship expansion set with 1,152 pieces, going for a penny less than £90. We also, we next have two little, uh, next we have two power-up packs with Frog Mario and Bee Mario, with 11 and 13 pieces each, both going for £9 minus 1 pence. Next we have Lego Star Wars sets which are focusing on the Mandalorian TV show. So we have the Imperial Light, the Imperial Light Cruiser with 1336 pieces going for 1 going for 149 pounds and 99 pence including five figures and as well as a ch the child stroke stroke Grogu stroke Baby Yoda. We next have the um next have a new set for the Mandalorian apparently with the armorers with the armorers Mandalorian Forge at twenty seven pound and ninety nine pence with two hundred and fifty eight pieces. And finally, we have Boba Fett Starship, which which should actually be called Slave One, but oh well, I'm staying out of that. So it is five hundred and ninety-three pieces and goes for forty-four pound and ninety-nine pence, with two figures, Boba Fett and the Mandalorian. Next, we have Lego Ninjago, specifically with a legacy theme. With Fire Dragon Attack at 563 pieces, going for £44.99, which also has a golden Nya. Nya? I'm sorry, I've never really got into Ninjago, so I pronounced that horribly. Uh, figure, so the limited edition 10 year since Ninjago started. We have the Ninja Subspeeder at £34.99 with 356 pieces. The Water Dragon with 730, 737 pieces going for £59.99. And the Temple of of the Endless Sea set at eighty nine pounds and ninety nine pence with one thousand and sixty pieces. These sets and finally the Lloyd Hydro Mech at seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence with two hundred and twenty eight pieces. Next we have Join Lego VIP. And the Lego Disney sets with Belle and Rapunzel's Royal Stables at 239 pieces going for £44.99. And Anna and Elsa's Frozen Wonderland going for £10 cheaper at £34.99 for just about 100 less bricks at 154 pieces. 
Now the final page we have more Disney with the Brickheads of Scrooge McDuck, Huey, Dewey and Louie. So the Scrooge family. We're going for £21.99 pence for 340 pieces. We also have what looks to be mini art sets is how I could best describe it by the looks of it. With Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse sold separately at $14.99 each, both with Mickey having 118 pieces and Minnie 140. And next we have the Minnie Disney Castle at £30.99, going with 567 pieces, which is obviously a smaller version of the much larger Disney Castle we got a few years ago, I think, at this point. Maybe it was earlier last year, not sure. And finally, we have the Halloween themes with the Haunted House at £209.99 with 3,231 pieces. This is an 18 plus set and has a light brick. And as I was talking about earlier, you, here's an here is an example of Lego provi not providing a battery and other electronics to make the set electrified like they say they do with the Santa's Visit set right at the beginning of this video. We finally have the Spiger and Haunted House pack at £8.99 and 132 pieces. And the Halloween Owl at 228 pieces, going for 13.49. And finally, on the back page, we have a come visit us in a Lego shop, which I rarely do because the nearest shop to me is about two hours away, which to most people probably doesn't sound that far. But when you live in rural Britain, it's got a fair distance. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you when I see you. Cheers and goodbye.